I have to account for all my time? Okay. So, this one isn't for work but school. And a dispute I had with an instructor who was looking for a way to shaft my GPA. I'd proven him wrong in front of witnesses and he was looking for payback. I was a student gunsmith at the Colorado School of Trades when this happened. And part of the last section of the program was working on a minimum number of customer supplied guns. Kind of like how salon colleges offer discount hair services to real customers so that the students can get some experience. I had angered the instructor for that department by protesting when he dinged me a grade point for failing to document the size of the gas port on a gun that didn't have one. A Benelli inertia-driven shotgun and then proved in front of witnesses that he was wrong about how the gun worked and forced him to change my grade. After that, he looked for every way he could to shaft me, and I could see his big play coming in the form of the school's very strict rules about how carefully we had to document how our time was spent, which would have allowed him to ding me for every unaccounted for minute, of which I was sure I had a few over the months. Enter malicious compliance. Early on in this section, it was called design and function or DNF. I had been assigned an old Arasaka rifle to clean, and the screws were seized so thoroughly that I was afraid I'd strip them out if I wrenched on them too hard. So I'd applied penetrating oil and put it in my locker, then moved on to other guns while I waited for the oil to work its magic. Once I realized what the instructor had planned for me, I simply forgot to get that gun back out of my locker and left it in there for months while I worked on other guns, letting it sit there until I was nearly finished with the section. Then, when I was near the end and the instructor started smirking and asking me about how well my time was accounted for, I produced this crusty beast from my locker along with the timesheet for it on which I'd accounted for every spare minute of my time in the section that wasn't on the other sheets and claimed it was all spent on this thing, and told him I was sorry but I just couldn't get the screws out and I'd take the F on that one gun. Out of the 35 I'd worked on as part of the curriculum, the look on his face as he read the paperwork and realized what I'd done was pretty priceless. I think he just about tore a hole in the final grade sheet writing that my time was in perfect order. And he didn't say another word to me the whole time I remained in school. I was a welding instructor until COVID closed the school I worked at. There was one student who told me I had a machine set up wrong. I told him it was right. He said it wasn't. I asked him to show me exactly what I had done wrong. So he did. I still told him I was right. Then he pulls out his phone, opens the provided ebook and says look. This is what's wrong. I had the polarity backwards. Not going to hurt the machine but will affect the actual well. Not only did I go back and check every single machine. He got extra credit. And I let it be known that I had learned. Relearned I guess. Something from a student that I needed to slow down once in a while, and not rush through the, simple stuff. People like that have no business being an instructor. Sounds almost like my old job. We had sheets we had to fill out for the full 8 hours of our day. In 15 minute increments, the very last entry was always, filling out required timesheets. As I have Crohn's, more than a few instances were, bathroom time. But as it was a documented disability, they could not do a thing about it. For some reason, this is always a phase every casino goes through. They want every minute accounted for even if what I do is hard to write down in the space allotted. They never seem to realize they are actually slowing things down and making us less efficient by trying to document our efficiency. But was the Arasaka in firing condition? I went to this school almost two decades ago and there was a cranky retired Air Force guy who instructed there named Rich. He was a huge dick bag just like this. 
and sandbagged two of my grades. I still passed but he did not make it easy. Most of my teachers there were great, but I don't remember most of their names. Something about a bad teacher sticks with you for life. Interesting they teach gunsmithing, would be an interesting class. If only for designing and building your own. It sounds like he was locked and loaded to target your grade. But you shot him down instead. Well played. So an inertia-driven gun doesn't use gas ports? Please tell me more. Was the instructor Ron? Sounds like something Ron would have done. Denny was running DNF when I was there. Cool a fellow smith, I went to Lassen. I thought about going to that school for the same program. The whole single parent in Louisiana thing kind of put a damper on it. Gunsmiths in my area assemble ARs and put fancy stocks on 1020 seconds S. I worked at a standard office gerb. VP told us all to start accounting for our time in 15-minute increments. I did just that. Filled out the form. Hit print at the end of the day. Turned it in. I only filled the form out once and turned it in every working day for nearly a year before I left. VP never noticed. It was the VP's big push to increase productivity. But she never read a single report from anyone. The company leased her a new Jaguar. So I guess it was a pretty good idea. And to think that some people think America is an absolutely mental country. Honestly surprised this has received any positive updates being it's firearm related. Type 99? Gun college is the most Colorado sounding thing ever. I entered my four-year university after earning my associate's degree and completing nearly all possible general courses. My plan was to take classes year-round and finish in three years. My chosen program was large and upon finishing it you had a major and minor in that study. In my first class for my major I was told I'd be unable to finish the program in less than four years. I also plan to complete an additional minor. The professor told me, oh, doing that means you will need five years to graduate. Immediately after class one went to my advisor and we mapped out my class load. I graduated in three years as planned and completed my major and both minors. Can someone explain like I'm five? DRGG. Didn't read gonna guess. You wrote down everything. Then showed the boss. Am I clairvoyant or have I seen this exact MC 50 times? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.